Hello and welcome to an e-demo of Motion Search in Victor Unified Client. What we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to carry out a search and retrieve based on a motion alarm. Before we begin, we have already configured motion on one of our cameras. So the first thing to do is we'll go to the Home tab and we'll open up the Search and Retrieve wizard. And we'll drag in that camera that has motion on it. And you can see the type of search drop down is defaulted to motion detection. There's a few other options in there, but obviously we're going to keep it at motion. We're going to specify a time over here of the last 10 minutes. And we'll go ahead and click Next then. Now this is the page where we actually specify which region in the scene we want to do the motion search on. So you can see on the left hand side we've got the scene. And we've also got some drawing tools underneath. So you can choose the draw mode and the draw style and, and some other options there as well. I'm going to go ahead and draw a polygon around this door. So we're only going to search for motion that has occurred around the door. You'll see on the right hand side then we've got some further options. If we take a look at the direction drop down you can see you can actually specify which direction the motion happened in. I'm going to keep that at any. You can also specify the amount of motion in the scene before it will return a result using this slider and you can also free type a duration in here between 0 and 600 seconds and I put that down to 1 so that means that the motion only has to occur for one second before it will show up as a search result in our results so we we'll go ahead and click next then we'll see a summary page and we'll finish and you can see we now have it results of our search. So if we expand that out, there's our eight results underneath with time and date stamps along with their duration. We can actually double click one of those and we can play the video above. As you can see there's the motion and there's also a red hit box around it there. In addition to just playing the results we can also manipulate them further. So we've got some buttons up here. We can export the results as a grid in Excel. We can export them as an XPS grid. We can visualize them on a graph. We can export the result as a clip. We can open it in investigator mode. And we can also clear selected results.